welcome back to another Ohana mini workshop. My name is Lisa Webb and I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to talk today about vocals and your ukulele. It's always nice to have our best uh, foot forward, as it were, on our vocals when we sing with our instrument. So let's start and think about some warm-ups. If you've ever sung in a choir, this might be familiar to you. Let's do a couple uh, exercises first. First thing is slides. Let's slide from the bottom of our range to the top on an ah. Ah. Let's try it on an o. O. Don't forget to breathe. Nice big belly breath. Okay, on an e. E. And how about an oo? Oo. That really kind of loosens us up and uh, gets our, our vocal range where it's supposed to be. Um, we can also do some choir warm ups, old fashioned choir warm ups on your instrument. If you start with an A shape, I don't know if you remember these. Mum, 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 if you were in a choir. Let's do it on my. My, 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 my. Let's go up to the B flat shape. My, 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 my. And we'll keep going up. This is B. My, 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 my. 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 So we don't really need a, a choir pianist to uh, do our warm-ups. We can do those all by ourselves on our, on our ukulele. Okay, and a couple things to consider when you are singing the songs that you are going to perform with your, with your instrument. Um, does, does the song fit your voice in the key it's printed in? Sometimes it's in a great key for us, sometimes it needs to be lower or higher. So we'll look at that in just a second. We can change the key, we can change the finger style. Maybe, maybe it's something that's a little bit lower for your voice. And it could really use some finger picking. That way your voice can really be heard if it's in a lower range. So it really makes a difference the way you are performing in the, the strum or, or if you're finger picking the song. Uh, on the screen here, you have some vocal ranges. For a soprano, they have a really healthy range, usually around a middle C, all the way up to like an A. That's, that's really high, that's too high for me, I'm an alto. Uh, a mezzo-soprano, maybe from an A to an F. Uh, alto, that's me, I can sing a nice G all the way up to the octave G and maybe a little bit more. <laughs> so you kind of have to know where your range of your vocal is. My range seems to be around the same range uh, as, a, as a tenor, ukulele. The guys have it really a lot easier. They have a lot more range that is below the instrument. So their rich tone can really stand out when they're playing an instrument that's a little bit higher than their vocal range. Something to consider. Okay, so we talked about changing the key. Here is Yellow Submarine. Very familiar song, right? I've represented the chords in numbers instead of letters. And if you can think of the numbers corresponding to perhaps a C major scale, C would be one, D two, E three, F four, G five, A six, B seven, and then we're back to C. Okay? So if C is our one, we can play Yellow Submarine and sing it in the key of C. In the town where I was born, lived a man who sailed the sea, and he told us of his life in the land of submarines. If we went to the chorus, we all live submarine, yellow submarine, yellow submarine. 
Well, what happens if I have decided that C is just a little bit on the high side for me? I'd rather do it a little bit lower. I could change that key and instead of C becoming one, I'm gonna make G my one. Here, I'm back in an alto key, right? So G is one, right? A is two, B is three, C is four, and so on. You can make yourself a little chart if it's easier for you. So now let's try Yellow Submarine in the key of G. In the town where I was born. Right? That might be a little bit easier key for me. We all live in a yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. Yellow submarine. It's really, really great to have this number system. We use it a lot here in Nashville, but it's used all through the world in classical music analysis too. You can represent your scale degrees with numbers and you can change the key of the piece that you wanna sing in. And so you don't have to sing something that's too low or too high. It's really great. All right, you guys have a wonderful time. Hope you're staying cool this summer. See you next time.